Echo's mission is pretty vast. So our main mission is to engage and inspire families in the joy of scientific discovery, the wonder of nature, and the care of Lake Champlain. So my name is Billy Ernest. I am our public programs manager here at Echo. Um, a lot of folks, I think, think of the Echo Center and they imagine us like here on the water, we're a beautiful location, we're a venue, we're a science museum, but they don't know about that reach that happens. So we do programs in schools where we actually bring our museum to the community and that spans throughout most of the state and also upstate New York. So we'll bring like a miniature museum to a community center where we'll set it up, kids get to come in and they get to be engaged and really brought into this idea of learning and this idea of connection with our natural world. I think that people should care about the lake because it's our home, it's where we're located, and it's got so many incredible things that only exist here. It's a huge source of fresh water, it is a huge source of not only aesthetic beauty, but also connecting with our culture. In Vermont, we have a huge culture of swimming holes, we have a huge culture of fishing, we have that connection to the land and to care and to give back to our communities, give back to the environment that we live in, is a way for us to be able to more sustainably and more ethically exist within that framework. <laughs> I think that when people see animals, they can draw empathy because it's right there. And people love animals. I think that there's also something a little spiritual about being able to see such a magnificent animal right in front of you that you wouldn't be able to see elsewise. It's gonna be really rare that you're gonna see a sturgeon out in the lake because animals don't like to be around people, it turns out. Um, so having the opportunity to come, engage with an animal, be able to see how they live, be able to ask questions. It builds that curiosity so that folks can connect more with the local environment. And then when they learn about these things that they can do to help, they're not just learning it as a outside kind of nebulous thing. They're learning about it as a way to help that animal. So if you do things like pick up your trash and your waste and you recycle so that we don't have garbage going into the lake, or you're being careful about how you fertilize your lawn or how, um, how short you cut your lawn so that you don't get as much runoff that's going into the lake too. You can hear that that's good for the lake, but if you have something specific that you can connect it to, it makes it all that much more powerful.